Alright, I'm Frederick Sands IV, also known as Fred, sophomore radio TV film major from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, well, I remember it was it was one summer, probably three, four years ago. Um, my, my dad had installed Photoshop. I still don't know why he had Photoshop, but he installed it on um, one of our computers. And I remember hearing about Photoshop like since I was like younger. And I remember just people. I've always been interested in like doing interesting things with photos. So I kind of started doing that kind of stuff on Paint and then Microsoft Word. And like I found other programs. But then when I found Photoshop, I kind of taught myself how to use it. I, loved, I watched a lot of tutorials and stuff. And you know, I started to put my work on like Facebook and started to share it on social media. So my work has always kind of been like social media driven, but I started to share it there and I never intended for it to be a business. It was just a way for me to express myself and it was something to do. Um, and then people started noticing it, you know, from there kind of like started making money off of it. So you know how that is. Well, I mean, you know, I have a lot of different people who inspire me. Um, photographer, graphic designer, creative director, Derek Blanks, um, also producer. Um, people like Pharrell who have, you know, basically exceeded the boundaries and the limits of the creative realm. And, you know, I, I'm inspired by things like music and movies. And I, I like to walk and just explore things. So I'm always seeing new color schemes and just figuring out how to do things differently. And, you know, I'm, I think I'm inspired more every every single day. So, yeah, it's just more like a daily thing. So. Man, I don't know. Uh, well, I've always been like a fan of minimal work. Um, very simple designs and things like that. Um, when Beyonce released her like surprise album, I noticed that the packaging for it was very simple. It was her name, pink, steel fish font, and it was so freaking dope to me. I don't know why it was so dope to me, but it was just because they they took this immaculate project and basically sold it through simplicity. And it was just so I think that spoke volumes, even though it wasn't much, it spoke volumes because somebody so powerful could release something and not put a lot of work into like graphics and things like that. But it was, that's one of the things. And then um, things like, no, it, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff, man. Um, I saw an album cover for, uh, what's the artist? I can't think of the artist's name, but there are a lot of artists um, whose um, album covers have come out and have made me think of things differently or have given me like different perspectives as to like how to design things and how to put things together. So, well, first off, I called it the self-titled series, inspired by her self-titled album. Um, I thought the work was so freaking dope that I just had to pay my own tribute to it. Um, so my way of doing that was through art. Um, one of the ones that sticks out to me most is the one um, with the picture from her superpower video where her face is kind of at an angle and you can kind of like see one of her, um, it's, it's a profile shot but at the same time I um, blended in an image of her with the, you know, the mask that she has on the beginning of the video. That one is one of my favorites because I, you know, I played around with color and I used like different types of blending techniques just to make that simple image and then I found the font and I just kind of like made my own take on what I thought the, the direction of the album was and I kind of followed that so I think if any one of them stands out it would be that one and if you see it you know what I'm talking about so so myself. I think kind of now I have a system as to like what I feel works and um, what what normally fits my, my type of work. Um, and it's kind of grown into a signature. But blending tools, it's so, what is it? It's so intimidating at first, especially when you're self-taught. But now it's kind of like, I know what I want to do. When I think of an image, or when I think of what I'm going to do for a design, I know automatically what kind of tools I'm going to use. Of course, sometimes I kind of venture away from 
what I think I'm gonna do, but I mean, now it's more so tech, technique and tradition for me, so. What advice would I give? I would just say to become your brand. Um, it's so important to be transparent as a businessman, a business woman, and especially as a creative, because what you think and what inspires you is often, you know, seen through you. Um, that's 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 what the message behind my site is. It's not just a portfolio for my work. It's not just some place to house all of my designs. It's like I said on the front page. I said I wanted to create an experience that would highlight the thin line between the muse, the artist, and the work. So you know, I, I think you know one thing I would just say is just become your brand and sell yourself as a creator or sell yourself as. Uh, a, a difference, or it's not, that's not a word either, but I always use that as a difference. And if you have any unique qualities, um, capitalize off of them and celebrate them. And once you do, people will start to see that. Um, so and if you're working on a site, just make sure it's 100% you, that you're following your own game and not trying to, you know, follow anybody else's standards. So just be you, become your brand, and shine. That's all I want to say. Oh, <laughs> my